Colby's World. 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 Like that. How to solve basic physics of the universe equations. Here's our most basic equation. Um, maybe this is the speed equation. Speed equals distance over time. And we might have this filled out with distance 15 and time is 3. So I'm going to be showing you over here on the left side the three basic keys to solving these puzzles. The main idea get the unknown alone and if there's a fraction you want it on top of the fraction so if you look over here we need to get speed s alone but what you notice is it's already alone what does that mean there's nothing nearby it you look on the equal sign everything on the left hand side of the equal sign there's nothing there but the s the s is alone so basically we're done solving this problem we just have to put the everything else on the right-hand side in our calculator. 15 divided by 3, and that will give us the answer. All right, now if we have an equation like this where we have 10r equals 3. We're solving for r, but we can see that r is not alone. When we look over here on the left side of the equation, we see there's a 10 there, the number 10 that we have to get rid of. So how do we get rid of the 10 to make R alone. There's two things you need to know for this. Basically, you do this, you get it alone by using opposites. So you undo your opposites. If, if something's being multiplied, then you divide it. If it's being divided, then you multiply. So let's look at our example right here. Here we see 10 times R. So to get rid of 10 times R, we have to do the opposite of 10 times R. We have to well, what's the opposite of multiplying by 10? You have to divide by 10. So this will help us undo the multiply by 10 because we're doing the opposite. We're dividing by 10. This will help us get rid of the 10. But there's one really important step that you also have to keep following whenever you do this. All right? You have to keep both sides of the equation equal. That means you have to do the same to both sides of the equal sign. And right here, we just can't divide one side by 10 because now we made the left side of the equation different, a different number, so the right side would not be equal anymore. So we have to. If we're going to divide the left side by 10, guess what we have to do to the right side? We have to divide that by 10. Whatever you do on the left side, whenever you, do, you have to do the same thing on the right side. So you divide the left side by 10, you have to divide the right side by 10 to keep it equal. And so what happens? We got the 10 over the 10. Well, 10 divided by 10, they reduce. They turn to 1 because, well, that's the reason we divide it by 10. We take multiply by 10, divide by 10, and they cancel each other out, and they reduce. And so now, when we ignore those, because so we got rid of those, you can see, when we, when we rewrite this without the 10s in there, you have r equals 3 over 10. And now, the r is alone. So you're back to the first step, r is alone. So now you just plug in your, cal in your calculator, everything on the right-hand side, 3 divided by 10, which is 0.3. And that's how you solve basic physics of the universe equation. So let's do some examples. All right, so here I put our steps, our main keys, get the unknown alone and on top of the fraction. That's the main thing. How do you do that? You do opposites and keep both sides equal. All right, so here we go. Now looking at this, it looks like I'm solving for E. Now is E alone? No. I look on the right-hand side of the equation, and I can see that E has a 4 near it. There, on the right-hand side, it's not just E. This E is being divided by 4. Being divided by 4. So how am I get, going to get rid of divide by 4? I have to do the opposite of that. The opposite of divide by 4 is going to be to multiply by 4. So over here, and I put it on top, I'm going to multiply E by 4. This shows multiplication, so e times 4. I got e divided by 4 and e times 4. So that's going to cancel these two out. They're going to reduce. But remember, our third rule, keep both sides equal. So if I'm going to multiply this side by 4, I have to also multiply this side by 4. So now they're both going to be equal. And then I will just 
this four on top and the four on the bottom reduce. Okay, and now I'm just going to rewrite it so you can see what it looks like. So I have four times 12 on the left side. On the right side, these are gone, so equals E. So now the E is by itself alone. So the answer to my problem, my question is four times 12. Four times 12 is 48 equals E. And that's that problem. Let's try another one. I have T over four equals 11. T is not alone because the four is over here also. I have to remove the four. Right now I'm dividing by four. The opposite of divide by four is multiply by four. So I multiply by four. These will reduce, but to keep the other side equal, if I'm multiplying this by, side by four, I have to multiply this side by four. And then the fours over here reduce. And we end up with rewriting it, t equals 11 times 4, which means that t equals 44. All right, let's try a little bit different problem. Here I have 10m equals 120. Is m alone? Nope, it's next to a 10. We have to get rid of the 10, okay? Got to do opposites. Um, this is 10 times m, I'm trying to get rid of the 10. I'm not trying to get rid of the m, I'm trying to get rid of the 10. 10 times m. So opposite of multiply by 10 is to divide by 10. So what I'm going to do is put a line here to show them dividing by 10. To keep both sides equal, I need to do the same thing to the other side. Divide this side by 10 also. And we can see 10 over 10 these will reduce because I'm multiplying by 10 and dividing by 10. So rewriting it, I end up with on the left side, m equals, and then 120 divided by 10. Um, if I put that in my calculator, 120 divided by 10, that will give me 12. m equals 12. Here I have 8 equals 2a. Got to get a by itself. 2 is next to the a, so I have to get rid of the 2. We're multiplying by 2. 2 times a, so the opposite of multiply by 2 is divide by 2. Then I got to do the same thing on both sides to keep them equal, so divide the other side by 2 also. And then the 2 on top and the 2 on the bottom, they reduce because I'm multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2, so they reduce to 1. And now to rewrite it, you end up with 8 over 2 equals a. All right, so basically it's 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So a equals 4. That's how you get your answer. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to give you numbers to plug in. We call this substitution, when you substitute the numbers into the equation. Now, I'll make sure it's perfectly clear, we're not going to change the parent equation at all. We keep the exact same equation, and then we just substitute in these very these values. All right, so, well, A is the question mark, so we leave A as A, so I will write A. And I have my fraction, and it equals, okay? Now, A equal over B, and B is 2, right? right there is 2. So I'm going to have a over 2 because I substituted 2 for b. Okay, exact same thing. a over b is a over 2 because b is 2. Now over here, I got c by itself. So it's just the c, which is 3. Right? I substituted in the 3 for c. So substituting. Now here's my equation. Now I can go through my steps over here and solve it. I am solving for a. Hey, we've seen this before. Um, is a alone? No, there's a 2 over here. So we have to get rid of the 2. Right now we're dividing by 2. So the opposite of divide by 2 is multiply by 2. See, we're multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2. That's going to reduce the 2. But to keep them equal, we have to do the same thing to both sides. So if I multiply this side by 2, I have to multiply this side by 2. And then over here, Multiplying and dividing by 2, they reduce to 1, they're gone. And so let's rewrite it again just to see what it looks like. A, that's all that's over here, 
equals 3 times 2, right? So a equals 6, 3 times 2. Let's try it again. All right, now I got, oh, this looks like a time speed distance problem. Um, the speed equals 3, the distance is what we're looking for, and time equals 4. Okay, so let's rewrite it. Over here I have S, which is 3, equals, and then I have D is the unknown, so I'll leave that as a D. And then I have T equals 4, so I put that in there. Now i got to solve for D. All right, is D by itself and alone? Nope. There's a 4 over here. We have to get rid of the 4, so we're dividing by 4 right now. Dividing by 4, so the opposite of divide by 4 is multiply by 4 to keep both sides equal. I gotta multiply the other side by four, keep both sides, keep them equal, I have to multiply both sides by four. And then now I'm multiplying by four and dividing by four, which reduces to one. So rewriting it, I see over here, four times three equals, and over here, it's just D, okay? So basically, D equals four times three. Four times three is 12. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit of a trickier one because we're solving for A, and the A is on the bottom. So we look over here, first is A alone, no. So you might think you have to get rid of the 12, but the problem is if you do that, you're gonna have the A on the bottom still. So remember that we have to get A on top. We have to get the A on top. So that's the first thing you wanna take care of. You gotta get the A on top of the fraction. So at first you might not know how to do this, but Really, all you have to do is undo what it's already being done to it. Okay, remember our, our opposites over here. So right now, it's 12 divided by A. So you have to undo that. Undo 12 divided by A. We want to move the A, so that's what we have to do something to. So instead of dividing by A, we want to do the opposite of that. We want to multiply by A. Right? So see, I'm multiplying by A and dividing by A. So these are going to reduce. But do the same thing to both sides to keep them equal. So if I multiply this side by A, I have to multiply this side by A. Here's why we did this. The A and the A here will reduce. And now, look, the A is not on the bottom. It's up here. It's here right next to the 4. So it's not on the bottom anymore. Now, we're not done yet because, look, A is not alone. Now A is next to 4. Now we're multiplying by 4, and we've seen this before. So what's the opposite of multiply by 4? We need to divide by 4, all right? Dividing by 4, so we're multiplying and dividing by 4, so these will reduce. But remember, you got to keep both sides equal, so if you're going to divide this side by 4, you also divide this side by 4. And then you can reduce these 4s right here, and you end up with, let's rewrite it, just so we can see what all these, get all these things out of the way that we crossed out. We have A over here, that's all we have over here. On the left, on the right, we have 12, and then those are gone. The a's over here are gone, and we have a 4 on the bottom. So we have a equals 12 divided by 4. We can plug that in our calculator, 12 divided by 4, and we end up with 3. a equals 3. Okay, there you go. Let's try it again, but this time with the numbers. All right, so we're going to plug in the numbers. Um, we have a equals 2. We have B equals 9. We have C is the unknown. So rewriting it, I got over here on the left, A is 2. B is 9. And C is the unknown, so I'm going to leave it the letter C. All right, let's solve for this. I have, do I see on the top? Nope, it's on the bottom, so we have to fix that. So right now we're dividing by C, opposite of divide by C is multiply by C. Multiply both sides by C. And now after I do that, I got, we're multiplying by C and dividing by C. Multiply C and divide by C, so those will reduce, so they're gone. There you go. Now C is not on the bottom, it's over here. Now I have C times two. I have to get rid of the multiply by two. Multiply by two, what's the opposite of multiply by two? Divide by two. Gotta do both sides to keep them equal. If I divide this side by 2, I have to divide this side by 2. And now we see, multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2, these reduce. 
All right, let's rewrite it. Over here, all we have is C. Over here, we have a nine, and those are gone, and we just have a two at the bottom. So there you go. C equals nine over two, which is 4.5.